Hi and welcome to our video guide. Today we're going to learn how to build a very simple web form in less than 5 minutes and how to embed that form into our website. In my use case today, we'll be creating a simple contact form that allows us to capture inquiries from our website visitors. Keep in mind that in Caspi you can develop much more sophisticated forms and applications with workflows, triggered actions, database relationships, and much more. With that said, let's go into Caspio and see how we can build a very simple contact us form. Once you're inside your Caspio account, it's very easy to begin. Just click on the create app button, and then you'll have two options on how you can begin. You can build your application as a blank template, or you can import data if you have some offline data that you wish to bring in. We'll build our application from a blank template and then very simple, give your application a name. I'm going to call this just very simple contact form, but you'll have your own naming convention. It really just depends on what type of application you're developing. You should be able to see that app container listed and from here, just click on open. And then you'll be able to see a list of objects on the left hand side. The most important place where you want to begin developing your Caspio applications is always going to be the tables object. Tables are the foundation of any app that you develop in Caspio because that's where all of your data is going to reside. To build my first table, I'm going to click on create table. The next thing that we need to do is list down all the fields that our table is going to have. The very first field I'm going to add is a contact ID. And for my data type, I'm going to assign a unique ID that's automatically generated. In a database application, this is commonly referred to as a primary key. Next, let's have name maybe email, subject, message, and last but not least, let's have date submitted. Once you list on all of your fields in the table, you can now make modifications to your data types. So for example, date submitted, I'm going to change that to a timestamp so that we automatically stamp the date and time of each submission. For my message field, I'm going to choose text 64,000 because I want to be able to capture up to 64,000 characters inside that field. In other words, long text. Once you're done, you can save your table. Let's give it a name. We're going to call this maybe demo TBL contacts. We're going to hit finish. And that's how easy it is to build a table in Caspio. How do we now feed data into that table? To build a form, we need to navigate over to data pages. We'll click on create data page, and this is going to launch Caspio's point and click data page wizard. All you have to do is select your option, you hit next until the finish button becomes available for you to save your changes. In my use case, I'm building a very simple contact form, so I'm going to have this by default selected, which is submission form. We're going to hit next. I'm going to select my contacts table that we just created. I only have one table inside this application, so let's leave that to be the data source. Let's give this data page a name. We can call this something very simple, contact form. You can also choose a different style. Styles are all about the aesthetics, the look and feel of your form in terms of color for labels, buttons, fields. You can choose one of our preloaded styles that we provide, or you can go into your styles object and you can fully modify your own style to match the look and feel of your corporate identity. I'm going to choose blue. And then for my localization, localizations are all about regional settings. Here you can apply a different language, you can change the date format, the currency format. You do have a lot of options here on what you can select. I'm going to choose English and continue. Next, it's asking me what fields do you wish to use in the web form. I'm going to select all of my fields to be in my form. We're going to hit next. And finally, you're going to find a screen that's called properties. Here you can select your fields on the left hand side and you can make modifications using the form element drop down. And as you can see, we provide a slew of options on how you can modify each field. For my message field, I know I want that to be a text area so that I can see a, a bigger box and what the user is typing. If you'd like to see what the form looks like in real time, you can always click on the preview button and that will bring up the form. If you're happy with the design, you can go back to Caspio. And once you're back inside Caspio, you can click finish to save. And that's how easy it is to build a form inside Caspio. If you're ready to publish that form to your website, you can click on the deploy link, enable deployment status, and then you're going to be able to see how Caspio gives us four different deployment methods with the embed model being the most popular. All we have to do is copy and paste this code into our website builder, publish your site, and we're going to be able to see that form seamlessly embed. In my video today, I'll use Weebly to demonstrate how we embed that form into our website. I have a few pages created. I will go to my contact page 
And inside my contact page, I have this widget where I can embed my Caspio code. I'll click inside it. I edit my custom HTML, paste my Caspio code, hit publish. And once we go to our website and we navigate to the contact page, we will be able to see how that form seamlessly embeds into our site. Thank you so much for watching our video today. Please note that in the video, I did use Weebly to demonstrate the deployment method, but Caspio is compatible with many other CMS platforms out there. So if you're comfortable using WordPress, Webflow, Weebly, GoDaddy, Yola, note that Caspio will work in conjunction with all of those CMS platforms. So feel free to explore other CMS systems as well. Again, thank you for watching. For additional videos, you can tune into our YouTube channel or visit our knowledge base at howto.caspio.com.